What is up guys, my name is Brian, I'm one of that video, and I'm your coach of the Charlotte Beedrill, so draft team that floats like a butterfree and thinks like a Beedrill. And today I'm bringing you my week 3 matchup, again, in the, um, the game room, Matina Division, uh, Little Cup uh, League, against the Vancouver Hatenas. Uh, we got the team uh, chilling here at camp. Uh, we got the new addition in uh, Rookie D, potentially making... Debut, Palisand also. I mean, excuse me, Sandy Gas also making its potentially making its debut, along with Pokemon I've brought before like uh, Mime Junior, Sobble, um, Fungus, and Darmaka. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my uh, opponent and his team. All right, so. The opponent, the Pokemon uh, my opponent has at his disposal is the Ponyard, Frillish, Tyrant, Stunky, Ball Toy, Cluffa, Gothita, Timber, Hoot Hoot, and Gossifler. So uh, there you can see he's got a uh, couple of Trick Room setters uh, in uh, Frillish, Ball Toy, and Gothita. Uh, Gothita can potentially trap me in with its uh, Shadow Tag ability. Uh, Cleffa has the Friend Guard. It doesn't have Follow Me, but it does have uh, Friend Guard to make its defenses a little stronger. Uh, some really good attackers and Pokemon like Ponyard, uh, Tyrant, uh, Timber. Uh, Gossifleur can lower anyone, everyone's speed when it gets hit. Hoot Hoot has access to Tailwind. Uh, we saw what Stunky did in my other little cup with the Stench ability. He could potentially run uh, Stench. Uh, Frillish could be supportive, or it could be uh, something more offensive like Water Spout. So uh, there's definitely um, a lot of things he can do. Um, he could even, uh, like, pair, like, Hoot Hoot and Ponyard and, uh, give Ponyard a little bit of speed boost with some max airstreams. There's just a lot of things he can do. So, um, so he's got an interesting team, but, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my team. So first up is the Rookie D, running the Focus Ash with Unnerve as the ability, with the moves Taunt, Tailwind, U-Turn, and Scary Face. Next up is Fungus, running the Eviolite, Regenerator as the ability, with the moves Rage Powder, Spore, Pollen Puff, and Energy Ball. Next up is Mime Jr., running the Mental Herb. With Filter as the ability, with uh, Trick Room, Nasty Plot, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt. Next up is Sandy Ghast, uh, running the Weakness Policy. Water Compaction as the ability. With the moves Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. Next up is Sobble, running the Light Clay. Torrent as the ability, with Aqua Jet, U-Turn, Reflect, and Light Screen. And finally is Darumaka running the Life Orb, Hustle as the ability with Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, U-Turn, and Protect. So, um, the idea here is to kind of decide what I want to do based on what my opponent brings. If I see a very heavy Trick Room mode, then I can go um, Rookie D up front to uh, potentially taunt the, um, the uh, Trick Roomer. Uh, they could potentially be running um, 
could potentially be running uh, Mental Herb. That is very, very high possibility. I've got the same thing with my Mind Junior. So uh, it's frillish. I kind of have an issue. Uh, I have to find a different way around that. I'm pretty weak to the frillish, honestly. But uh, it could be uh, Rookie D Fungus and then Sporing into it and Taunting just to reveal a little bit of information. So, uh, Mime Jr., uh, if he runs a little more into the speed, I could use this as the Trick I could pair Fungus with Mime Jr. for the Trick Room. Just that Trick Room and then... Uh, And then I could set up with Nasty Plot and go for some sweeps. Uh, but the main thing I'm, I think I need to try to do is this uh, Weakness Policy uh, Sobble Sandy Gas pairing in the back. Uh, with the Aqua Jet, uh, I can give Sandy Gas a plus two in defense. And the Weakness Policy gives him a plus two in special attack. And if you look at his team, he's pretty weak to both ground and ghost. We look at Ponyard weak to ground, Fullish weak to ghost. Tyrant weak to ground, Stunky weak to ground, Baltoy weak to ghost, Gothita weak to ghost. So yeah, that's a lot of uh, stuff. And then I have coverage. So we got the poison move, super effective on Gossifleur, super effective on Cleffa. So uh, hopefully Sandy Gas will be the star of this show today. Um, but uh, we'll definitely have to uh, see what happens. Hopefully, um, I don't need to bring Darumaka into this. I don't like them. Um, it was kind of hard to fit a six mon in. But, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. So, uh, I will get in touch with my opponent and uh, we will coordinate the battle. So, I think his Trick Room Setter could either be Gathito or uh, Frillish, but he's also. He is running the Hoot Hoot with the uh, um, Ponyard. Uh, yeah. Could I lead Sandy Gas and Sobble with this? So let's see. Even if he tries to get a trick up. I mean, I don't see why I don't at least try it right away. Okay, he has no. Well, he does have one water type. And I can get rid of that with Sandy Gas. Darumaka looks okay. I'm not maxing it though. It means I'm just susceptible to hustle. And. Just go for Fungus. I mean, why not? We'll lock it in. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll see. Hoot hooting got the eater. okay? Yep. Yeah, yep, we're just gonna do this we're gonna just do Aqua Jet and then Max and Max Phantasm and just I mean he's probably gonna fake out, but I should probably still do a lot of damage, even if he goes for a fake out into uh If he does then Good for him. I'll do it next turn. Yeah, we're both getting our maxes out of the way. <laughs> it's got a reminiscence of Gengar, so G Max Gengar is a thing. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it next turn. I do have a lot of HP investment into this, so... You know, if I don't live it, that's fine. But I am getting rid of the Gothic here. Okay.
And it's life orbs. So I guess Fungus will be fine here. Tyrant. I think we're here fine to Rage Powder. And then Max Quake into the Tyrant. Just trading, we're doing another trade here. There goes the Tyrant. So he's still faster and he's definitely faster than uh so next up is Darmaka Relished. Okay we're gonna protect here and then I'm gonna send a phantasm into Frillish. And I'm special, so that was a waste. This is just a... Uh, here we just Flare Blitz into Hoot Hoot and we uh, Sludge Bomb into Hoot Hoot. Fine. And uh, I think we're going to take game one. Yep, we're just going to send it back. Send another uh, Sludge Bomb. I have like two of those boosts. Yep. Oh! Oh. That's not good. And we get it off. All right. Take game one. I. What could he do to get through that sandy gas? Mm. Uh, let's just see what stuff in the back does. Uh, didn't really have... Uh, don't actually like Rookie D. Uh, 
I think we're just going to do the same four. What is next? Ponyard and Garthitsa. Okay. Let's just do this again. And let's just max Quake into the uh, Ponyard. Yeah, he maxes Ponyard. Um, uh, no, I don't. I have to get off. I probably have to get off the uh, um, Aqua Jet here in order to even live. I don't know. I mean, he's not getting off. If I don't live the, um, the max darkness, I can't proc a policy. Only I can do that. Yeah, so he does that thing. And then he, yeah, he max darknesses into my, uh, health. And I live it. Procs my policy. There goes the pawn here. But I am down to like 40 HP, so he's probably okay with that. Do I just get up a reflect here? And then... I mean, Sandy Gas is probably going down now. I don't think I need it. But I guess we can try to get something. Try to knock out something here. Let's see, I'm more like... I don't know what I else... Uh, I'm in speed. Uh, what do I... Find more threatening. Probably that Tyrant's a little more threatening. So. Okay. Damn. Okay. I think here we go, Fungus. And I know that Tyrant is, uh, well, it's not Life Order. Well, it's not, uh, well, I know it's not, uh, Safety Goggles. So I think here, I think I just get up another Reflect, and then I just Spore into, uh, Tyrant. Oh, is that? Oh, that's Choice Scarf. Pretty sure that's Choice Scarf. Now I don't really have anything for Tyrant now. I guess I just have to go for my rock slides. My rock slide punches, and then, uh... 
I guess, energy balling into Tyrant. I guess. Gothita avoided. It hit the Tyrant. I would have liked for it to hit Gothita. Then that goes down. Yeah, I lost this one. So I've got to think about that. I don't have anything for Ponyard now. I mean, I'm fine. Just clicking Rock Slide here. Oh, it's not Choice Garb. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure stuff out here. Anyway, GG's, uh, we'll go to game three. Boongus, Mime Jr., Sandy Gas, Dobble. On your timber. Okay, and then here we Rage Powder. And we Trick Room. Okay, uh, I guess here we can spore into Ponyard and we can Nasty Plot. Okay. Lawrence, you got Fita and Thunderbolt into Ponyard. Okay, that has safety goggles. Should go down, it's fine. Sandy Gast is to play here. And we've Max Phantasm into Gafita. And we Thunderbolt into Ponyard.
right, two down. It's just Max Quaking the Tyrant and Dazzling Gleaming. Timber. <laughs> there goes the Tyrant. Hailstorming into my Mime Jr. Okay. That's fine. So it's a dimension to turn to normal. Okay. Here is just don't says more. They're both stab. Uh, Max Quake into Timber, and then Aqua Jetting into Sandy Gas. Sandy Gas. Yep, we win. Well, okay, maybe not. That's my last turn of Max, I think. Maybe not. But we'll see. Uh, you can only target one. So I think we will... Let's see, they're both 100%. And then Sludge Bomb will do... Well, no, uh, Earth Power will do a lot more. So we'll just Earth Power into Timber. And then... I guess since I'm faster, I can set a reflect here. Hopefully he doesn't crit. And he does! Is that a crit? It was a crit. Oh. Is that game? Crit. Is that the last turn of Max? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this Aqua Jet has to KO, or this game's over. That crit. Ugh. I'm min attack. I don't think this is gonna KO. He. Ugh. had to have that crit. It's unfortunate, boys. 
you did what you had to do and just wasn't enough. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next time.